what's going on. Welcome back to Heavy Metal Models. Much like the car it's patterned after, AutoWart's model of the Lamborghini Aventador J is a heck of a lot more than an Aventador with its roof chopped off. In fact, AutoWart's gone very deep to make this mold set and this model a very accurate representation of the one-of-a-kind car, even if they've begun to release it in different colors. If you're fans of hypercars, sit down. You're going to like what you see. Check it out. Okay everybody, here's the deal. Lamborghini only made one Aventador J, and it's red, and no, this isn't a model of that car. Well, not really. Yes, it is an Aventador J, it's just not THE Aventador J. But, since the chances of actually seeing the one-off concept, now safely tucked away, appreciating in some not-so-shabby garage, are pretty much nil, I'll take this amazing-looking model in any color Auto Art sees fit to paint it in. Under this green, Auto Watch J is far more than their Aventador with its roof removed. In fact, the only pieces of the already exclusive car that were carried over were its headlights, front bonnet, and rear fenders. Every other piece of the car was fabricated afresh to create both the actual J for the 2012 Geneva Auto Show and this full-featured model from Auto Watch's signature series. The model's got the car's looks dead on. AutoWart's fabbed up a new nose, new bumpers front and rear, new side skirts, a new engine cover, and of course a new dash area and a sweeping center stack that replicates the open air 186 mile per hour hypercar to a T, right down to its alien pod rear and side view mirrors. Outstanding carbon fiber wheels are at the corner, and they're huge, fronting giant discs with pass-through calipers painted to match the car. I love the tolerances between the wheels and those big binders. It's the kind of closely hewn precision that makes this series such a blast to check out. Ditto the lensing at the front and at the rear. It's done just right, and it looks like it could light up. Beneath the Lambo bullet, the nose, the mesh-filled grille, and carbon winglets are aggressive and finely cast and decorated, and accented at each end with colorful, tamped-on J decoration. Traveling back, there's more carbon fiber in the doors, on the dash, and in the roll bars atop the texture upholstered seats, and the lightweight units wear fabric harnesses with photo-etched hardware. Below them is more carbon for the floors. Between them is a beautifully done all-business stack with all the correct controls and switches. The legible gauges on the binnacle are outstanding and really easy to see, and the foil Lambo badge in the steering wheel hub joins delicate photo-etched shifter panels to round out the show. It's true, you can see all of this without hoisting the doors, but when a model boasts actual working latches and spring-loaded hinges on top of a neatly detailed boot with a micro-hinged lid, why wouldn't you? Ahead of the equally new carbon fiber rear wing, the engine cover lifts off to expose the carbon bracing that designer Filippo Perini added for strength atop the already existing crossed struts. Beneath that, the 700 horse V12 is fully turned out, wired, and piped, and the extensively reworked rear features more impeccably placed screening, thin section castings for the aero effects, and an evil quartet of tailpipes. Above those is a nameplate that's been set into a trick molded steel mesh. This piece is sweet. It sports the same marbled background as the one worn by the prototype. And above that, there's a delicate and scaled correct Lamborghini script. Below the model is a flat belly pan wearing more faux carbon fiber weave and four giant soft treaded tires that flex ever so slightly when pressed down. Like everything about this model, those details and features like the tiny working winglets on the car's hips make this model of this all but unattainable machine one of the most engaging bits of automotive art I've seen so far this year. thread 
on auto art models these days and it's that the little things mean a lot. These small details on these cars are never corners being cut. They're always beautifully done. The carbon fiber pattern on this model, the little switches and the little tamped on labels on the center stack, the gauges in the dashboard. I mean, I could go on and on and on. You never pick up one of these cars and go, yeah, they cut a corner. It looks kind of cruddy. Just doesn't happen. It's a uniformly beautiful car. And what I like about this model is that Auto Awards managed to take a one of a kind concept and make it palatable and desirable for collectors. It's true, if you want the original Aventador J, you're going to want to try to find this one in red. But here's the kicker the car looks just as cool in green and just as cool in any of the other colors they may want to paint it. It's a beautiful car. I give it four Henrys. Hey, if there's a car you want to see on heavy metal models, reach out to me, Joe at heavymetalmodels.com. Like us on our Facebook page and you can post pictures of your collection, ask questions, and just join our growing community. And of course, I ask you, click the subscribe and join us on the YouTube channel. We really appreciate your support. I appreciate you coming down here and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.